Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're in the third bay. We'll be working on the truck shortly. But before we go work on that, we do got a couple boxes that we need to open up and go through. So let's go ahead, get all the stuff opened up and we'll show you what we're working with today. All right, I've gotten all the boxes open down below. And uh, you guys might be wondering, well, what's going on here? Well, as you can see, we have a Allison deep transmission filter. So that's gonna be the one with the metal bottom. I believe the standard height doesn't have the metal bottom. Got an Allison transmission filter, and then the transmission pan gasket. Over here, we've got a new valve body. And obviously on the TCM, you guys can read, it does say six speed conversion by Duramax tuner. So yeah, we're gonna be converting the Allison transmission in our Duramax to a six speed. You guys might be wondering, well, don't you have a six speed? No, I don't. Actually, the LLYs, so I think 2001, 2005, maybe even 2006, I'm not sure about 2006. But uh, the 0105s definitely all have the Allison 1000 transmission, but they're all five speeds. And you guys might be wondering, well, how are you gonna make it a six speed? Well, for whatever reason, when GM developed this transmission with Allison, they had a six gear in there. The, the six gear has always been in there since the first, very first day of production. But for whatever reason, maybe they were just waiting for, you know, mid-year refresh, mid-year update, whatever you want to call it. They, you know, they just, didn't put it in those trucks. I've, I've heard various reasons of, you know, the TCMs weren't ready, the technology wasn't ready, but, and so here we are. We've got all of the parts from Duramax Tuner. Well, actually I bought the filters and stuff from Amazon and whatnot. And basically, long story short, we will see a improvement on highway mileage, probably like one or two miles per gallon. Maybe, you know, I've seen people, you know, various people comment on that. And then really the, the biggest thing is you're basically dropping the transmission you know, down about 300 RPM when you're at like 70, 75 miles an hour. And so basically the components that you're going to get from Duramax Tuner is basically just the six speed valve body, the reprogrammed TCM, and that's about it. You know, it's not super complex, but you know, it is what it is. And that last box, I actually have a little bit of a story for you on that one. And I actually already filmed that, so we're going to cut to that now. See, they do have the Allison logo over on the building. And let's go get our fluid. All right, guys, as you can see, we do have all of our Transcend fluid. Didn't know this stuff was made by BP or Castrol. And one more thing I did want to recommend, go, if you guys live near a major city with an Allison uh, retailer or dealership or uh, you know, parts and service company, go check them out. I highly recommend you go seek them out because those gallons of transmission fluid were only $26. If you look on Amazon, they're almost $56, $57. So it's almost $20 cheaper a gallon to go pick up. And like I said, we had to go into Charlotte anyway. So it's kind of a win-win trip and uh, knocking stuff out and saving over $60 for the three gallons of fluid that we got. So, but I uh, just wanted to give you that little update and let's head home. As you saw, we did have a little bit of a trip for the transmission fluid that's specific to the Allison. And the other thing we have, I have actually had this for like five or six years. This is basically a deep transmission pan filter brace. So it somehow bolts to here, or I, it might actually bolt to the valve body. That might be right. And it basically holds the deeper filter in place. So like I said, I got this from Suncoast Transmissions a real long time ago. And actually uh, to give you a little bit of history, we have done all the filters on this truck before, but 
it was probably seven plus years ago is like when I first got the truck so like seven or eight years ago and it's probably been maybe 45 to 50,000 miles you know since the last time we serviced the transmission so it's not that you have to service the transmission at 50,000 miles but you know since we're doing the valve body swap we might as well do everything so filters that transmission filter brace all that stuff as well as all the parts from Duramax tuner. All right guys, you can see we did get the little red filter off. It should be in the bucket there. And uh, we do have a drain pan as well as a tarp underneath the truck. Just so that if we do happen to spill anything, it just doesn't get on the concrete. So now that we've gotten the drain plug as well as that filter off, like I said, we can go ahead and drop down the transmission pan. I'm fully expecting there to be fluid still in there, so uh, I'm actually going to put the drain plug back on the pan. Uh, not, you know, we'll just hand tighten it just so that it's not another spot for that to leak and we'll get the pan down. Alright guys, well you can see we got the transmission pan down and there's a ton of fluid in there. I kind of just dropped the gasket as well as the old deep filter just down in the pan. Just kind of letting the uh, valve body drip into the pan, you know, that's cool, we'll take care of all that. What we need to do next is actually get the valve body out. But before we can do that, there's actually some electronics over on the back passenger side of the transmission that we gotta go take. Basically unplug and you have to use a big socket. So hopefully I have that socket, we'll be able to get the wiring out. All right guys, you'll be able to see the electronics. We did get this uh, pigtail harness kind of fed through. Uh, honestly, all that I did was I just pushed on some of the sides. I didn't have a socket big enough to go over this. There's these clips on the side. I just pushed a few of them down and I put a screwdriver back in here between the plastic piece and the uh, transmission case itself. And I pushed enough of them down and I just pushed hard enough and, and it came out. So now that we've got the wiring disconnected, I can actually go ahead and disconnect the valve body. So there's a bunch of, those look like maybe nine millimeter screws. I've got to take a bunch of nine millimeter screws out and the valve body should come down and we have made a heck of a mess down here. All right guys, you just saw us pull out the valve body coming out the bottom there. Got all the bolts out and it, it was just hanging. You eventually just kind of had to work your way around the valve body that it did finally drop down. Now when we put it back in, um, you guys will see that I've got four of these marked with red and the rest of these are marked in blue. And that's basically going to be your, you got four longer bolts that came with the kit. So actually they're right there. So those four longer bolts will go there and the rest of the bolts are just the ones that came out of 
the old valve body. And here's the flip side. You know, this is what goes up against the bottom of the transmission. So nothing too complex here. We do have to feed the wiring through the transmission case. And one more thing, the bolt pattern didn't exactly match the diagrams that came with the Duramax tuner kit. So I ended up just taking out all of the bolts coming out of the valve body. There's probably like 20 of them. I think you only need to take off like 15 of them. So I just ended up taking them all out and that was the simplest way not to like lose like, oh, I don't know which bolt goes where and which one we need to undo. So now that we've got the old one out, we'll put this one in. All right guys, you will see we do have the new valve body in place. Pretty simple, just make sure you put the plug in the back Kind of stick that through the hole. And then basically start kind of pushing up because there are a couple dowel pins you have to get around. And uh, once you start pushing it up and goes around the dowel pin, it'll actually get closer to the, you know, get the valve body assembly closer to the transmission. Up front here, you'll see the four spots that we marked red. That is that new hardware coming from Duramax Tuner. So we put those in place and one of the bolts, they should all be brand new and oil free but you know the one is kind of dripping down that actually is a new bolt and the rest of these bolts we're just going to go ahead and have to tighten down to nine foot pounds and we did put the detent spring back on it uh, does face upward and uh, yeah so we'll get all this tightened down to nine foot pounds I believe there's gonna be like 14 or 15 bolts we'll get them all torqued down all right guys as you saw in the last update we did get the valve body assembled I did put all the bolts tighten them down to nine foot pounds like we said I've since put both filters on, so we got the spin-on filter there, we've got the deep pan filter there, and then up front, you guys will see we do have the brace from Suncoast Transmissions. I'll be honest guys, that brace is kind of a pain in the butt. I think later years, later designs, they moved this brace from the front to maybe the side or the back, I'm not really sure where they moved it to, but uh, I haven't seen that particular design used in a while, and the reason I don't think it's used anymore is because basically the white plastic piece, the piece that goes up into the transmission, you're trying to get those eight bolts around the uh, billet aluminum. If you guys can see that there, those are the, there's two screws over there. Trying to get those bolts around the plastic piece was kind of a pain. And uh, I mean, it did get tightened down. I ended up using swivel sockets and some uh, pretty loose uh, socket extenders. And I mean, I did get it tight, but you know, I think they have changed that design, so. All right, guys, we did get the Allison Deep Transmission Pan cleaned out. The magnet did have some, you know, clutch material on it, but, you know, it's kind of to be expected with 250,000 miles on it. But I will say this, the magnet and the pan are a whole lot cleaner than the one that I took off back, like, 60,000 miles, eh, about 50,000 miles ago. That magnet was caked with uh, a bunch of crap on it. This one it had a little bit on it, but really not too bad. The other thing I kind of saw was, you see these uh, shiny marks here and here? I think that deep transmission filter, you know, since it wasn't properly braced, was kind of just sitting on the bottom of the pan. You know, one end would hit, one end would hit. You know, maybe it was moving around inside the transmission, but with that brace, now it should be, you know, at the right level, just probably an eighth of an inch above the bottom of the pan, so. All right, guys, we uh, ended up putting three gallons of the Transcend fluid in, so this is the 668. And actually, I did have an old gallon of the old 295. It's actually the same product. The 668 is backwards compatible. So, so I did end up putting three gallons of transmission fluid in the truck. Now what we got to do is actually do the last part. And that's going to be the TCM install. And you guys can see this should be pretty simple. I've already taken off the 10 millimeter bolts. This should pull up and out. And there you go. The factory ECM is simply clipped in here. You pull that out kind of like this. And the last thing we'll need to do is get the two, the gray and red connector, I believe is what they call it. Get these two connectors off and we'll get the new TCM in. All right, so we got the TCM swapped. You guys can kind of see it right here. Now, why they call it red and green, if you actually take the connector out, it actually is a red connector up top and the bottom is actually a gray connector. So red, gray, red goes up top, gray goes on bottom. Uh, put the TCM back in the bracket. There's two holes in the bottom of the radiator shroud. Slide the bracket into there and then screw your two 10 millimeter screws back here into the upper radiator support and you're done with the swap. All right guys, I've actually been editing the valve body video and I did run into a major problem which I didn't film. Uh, basically what we did was when I installed that valve body, I did not put the 
retention pin in the shifter mechanism. So fill the truck up with three gallons of transmission fluid, put all the gaskets, all that stuff back together. You guys saw some of that. Started the truck, put the truck, tried to put the truck in reverse. Didn't do anything. The gear selector on the column didn't want to move at all. I couldn't even, like I tried to jam it a little bit and no, it wasn't going to go anywhere. Basically what happened was this rod and this pin got stuck um, in the new valve body against the uh, shifter mechanism, kind of like I was saying. So, so my only gripe for this entire thing was the instructions that they give you kind of suck. But if you actually go to Duramax Tuner's website and look on their online instructions, you, they actually give you a little section where they say, make sure this little pin makes it into that selector detent, because if it doesn't, it won't go into gear. And so since that set of instructions was not included on the printed instructions, which I think should come with it, I basically had to waste an entire day taking the truck back apart, draining the transmission that we had just filled up with fluid. Thankfully, I've got containers, so I didn't waste any fluid or anything. I wasted a little bit, but not much. Draining the fluid, taking the filters off, taking the valve body off. As soon as I put this pin in the right spot, I put the valve body back up into the transmission. I did not put the pan on or the filters. I just wanted to make sure it would work. Put the car into accessory mode, and I was able to move the, the gear, and you would hear it move inside the valve body. So. Like I said, four or five hours wasted time trying to drain fluids, and I'd refill the transmission and all that stuff, all simply because this pin and this rod, they didn't give you any instructions about it. So kind of sucks. Just want to make sure you guys know about that. And if you look on Duramax Tuner's online instructions, it's there. But I don't know why it's not in the printed instructions, because they had to program the TCM to my VIN number. So it's not like this was sitting on a shelf somewhere, you know, this whole package. Maybe that part of the package was sitting in the box and they just kind of left it for the last step. But if you're gonna include instructions, make sure that's accurate. That's that's my only complaint. All right guys, now I have been driving the truck for about a week. I've probably put maybe 100, 150 miles on it. Haven't really driven it a lot, but I have driven enough to where, you know, driving around town, the transmission has relearned kind of its basic up and down shift pattern. So. That's smoothed out a lot. When you guys first put the Duramax Tuner TCM in your truck, you will notice it is shifting kind of rough. But, you know, I think even the uh, the documentation that came with the transmission controller, it even says, like, I think it's going to take, like, four on-off uh, key cycles for the thing to tune. So, um, but, yeah, so it basically keeps on getting better. Then for the last couple of days, I've actually done a couple road trips in the truck on the highway. And the first thing I wanted to verify was the speedometer any more accurate than it was before. Now, I have odd sized tires on the truck. I've got a 295, I think it's a 295, 75, 17, so that's way bigger than the stock. 255, 70, 16, something like that. So, you know, it is a plus size tire, plus it's an inch bigger in diameter, so the speedometer's been off by about five or six miles an hour. So to confirm the accuracy of the speedometer, as you guys can see on the screen, I do show my phone with the GPS on and I look at the speedometer on the truck. Since so the GPS on my phone is saying 75 and the speedometer on the truck is saying 70 or something about that, you know, what, whether I'm doing 60 or 65. So the truck is still unfortunately off by about five miles per hour, which is kind of weird because the Duramax tuner, when you buy the kit, they ask you for your tire size. So I thought they would have taken care of that with the TCM. Maybe that's something you have to take care of on the ECM, the engine side. I'm not sure. I just thought it kind of weird that, you know, they would ask for that information and not program the TCM to that tire size, but it is what it is. So the speedometer is still off, so, but I did want to show you the accuracy of that. And now you guys can see on the screen that we're doing, it says 65, but we're really doing 70 miles per hour. But if you look at the tack, we're actually between about 1700 to 1800 rpm so from my past history of this truck i know that about 70 miles an hour we were about two grand so it is definitely down to 300 rpm kind of like we were expecting and then for this last clip i'm going to shut up and show you how quiet the truck is So yeah, the truck is way quieter on the highway and uh, like, you know, speed limits around Charlotte are in the 65 to 70 mile per hour range. There are sections that are 50, but everyone does 65. So 
around where I live, your average speed is between 65 and 70 miles per hour. And I can't believe how much quieter it is. I didn't, you know, I didn't buy this to quiet down the truck, but that just is kind of a positive side effect of dropping the RPM down that 300 RPM it is just a ton quieter. And I have seen other people and other people videos talk about that same thing. I was like, oh, that's not gonna be that much big of a deal, but actually it really is like the engine is working a lot less hard and so yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for the six speed conversion on my 2005 lly duramax i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button if you guys want to see more truck content hit that subscribe button turn on your bell notifications and if you guys want to help support the channel i'll drop some links down below i don't think i'll be able to find the tcm and conversion on amazon or anything like that so we'll just drop a link to duramax tuner and some of the parts and fluids and stuff uh I'll try to find one of those um, transmission filter braces. We'll include links for all that stuff down below. And also make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. I do have some new Duramax merchandise up there, and uh, check that out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.